Welcome back to Idaho Today. Yellowstone is one of the most watched shows right now. It's a modern twist on a classic Western for those who may not be familiar. It follows the lives of a complicated family of Montana ranchers, creating a dramatic series that is captivating viewers by storm. Idaho Press columnist April Neal and I had the pleasure of sitting down and speaking with one of the show's stars, Denim Richards. Joined by our entertainment guru, April Neal, and April, Yellowstone is a huge show. Like, everyone watches it. It is, well, it's the top show. It can <laughs> stop. And I think Denim Richards would agree with me, and, and I'm so fortunate that he's joining us from Zambia, and I want to know more about why you're there. Um, and, you know, the interview that we had for the Idaho Press was so telling, and, and I think that because we have such a limited amount of time, and I know you can't give us any spoilers about what's going oh to happen because we all want to know what's going to happen before the mid-season finale. Um, talk about the, the, what you were mentioning to me, um, the skill level for all of you when you first joined the cast to where you are now after five seasons and how much fun it is to go to Montana and, and be on set with all of your peers. Tell us about that. Yeah. Yeah, no, great question. Um, you know, thank you again for having me. I'm super excited to, you know, have this. Um, I think it'll be a fun, but obviously quick uh, conversation. Um, but yeah, you know, Yellowstone, as it is the number one show in the U.S., is really, really exciting. Um, but yes, to answer your question, our skill level uh, going into Yellowstone was vastly different than what it is now. Uh, we all had, you know, a little bit of experience riding horses, but nothing could possibly prepare you for the amount of work, uh, physical work that it actually is to be a cowboy in a very limited way. I don't think we, any of us would say that we're actual cowboys. However, on, you know, if we had a, a resume for a job interview, I think we definitely would say we're expert, uh, but we would never consider ourselves like, you know, real, real cowboys because they're the ones that are doing the real work. So uh, it's been a, a fascinating ride. And, you know, as the seasons go on, um, Taylor continues to write, you know, more and more uh, challenging uh, activities for us to do. So it's just, it, it's really exciting to kind of get our opportunity to do this really physical work. That's fantastic. Okay, so I do want to know though, Denim, if you ever decided to retire from performance, would you consider applying at a dude ranch? Because you mentioned resume. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just the getting up at like five in the morning type of thing. It's just not necessarily, not really me. Um, if they could maybe like have the sun start coming up around maybe 11 a.m., uh, maybe uh, we might have something to, to talk about. Uh, okay, so we, we, we got to shift uh, the, the sunlight sure. in order for that to happen. How, you know, how yeah, is your yeah, life, yeah. How, how, how dramatic has your life changed since you've been on mm. the show? And, and when do people stop you and say, oh my God, you're, you're Colby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, it's been a, it's been quite a whirlwind, um, but you know, it's, it's a blessing. You know, as a child, you kind of like, you, you, you watch different shows and you see interviews and you kind of see how fans react, uh, you know, to these artists that you've always kind of admired um, and, and tried to emulate, you know, growing up. And so to now be in those different places where you're walking around like Times Square in New York and people are crossing the street and saying things are going through airports and all these other things, it's really, really surreal. And I don't know that it, it's really hit me yet um, to the extent or how successful the show has been, but I'm really, really excited for all of my, my friends now that are on this show that they're really getting, you know, their flowers, if you will. Um, and so it has been a very, very different experience now. But, the, you know, the show has, has, you know, drastically changed our lives. And, you know, I definitely do not take that for granted. That's wonderful. I do want to know. I know you can't give any spoilers like April had mentioned, but are there any teasers that you can at least give right now? Yeah, there's more cows and a lot more horse riding. <laughs> okay. Not fair. Thank you. Not that fair. really doesn't tell me much, April. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, you know, I, I have to know, what are you doing in Zambia? Yeah, so um, I have a uh, studio in Botswana, um, oh. and so it's called Kumo Studios, which is this. And so uh, Kumo Studios, is, we're actually now in Zambia, we're doing a two-day masterclass, uh, Friday and Saturday, where we're teaching the like acting, art, and entertainment, but also like the business of acting at the University of Zambia. So we have about like 135 people that are gonna be showing up for this two-day event. Um, and we're also working with some government officials and things like that to be able to help uh, promote more art and entertainment uh, here in Africa. So uh, it's something that I'm really, really excited about. So I've been here for a week, a lot of videos, a lot of interviews.
news. I'm actually going to be leaving this interview and going to an in-studio interview uh, right after this. So it's you know it's really really exciting. So uh, yeah, but that's that's why we're that's why I'm here in Zambia. That's phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal, Denim, to hear how you're using your megaphone to help amplify the a love of the arts globally. Like that's incredible. Congratulations to you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for being with us. Yeah, no problem. Thank you so much, and I look forward to talking to you all again. All right, take care, Denim.